Hey, how you doing everybody? It's Jason Geyer, broker owner here at Noble Real Estate Services, property management and sales. And today we are talking about pets in your rental property. You know, uh, it's, it's quite often that we hear from property owners that hire us to manage out their properties that they don't want any pets in the property. They've had bad experiences with pets in the property. One of the things that you really got to consider is that two thirds of prospective tenants uh, have pets. So if you do go the route of no pets in your property, you're essentially eliminating two thirds of the prospective candidates that would rent your property. So that is one thing to consider. So you say to yourself, well, uh, how do I protect myself if that's the case? That's a good question. So what we do is uh, first and foremost, we have a restricted breed list. So we'll take your dogs or your cats so long as they aren't on our restricted breed list. Uh, our insurance company wouldn't allow it besides, and just from a, from a liability standpoint, if you're gonna allow pets, uh, allow the safest pets you could possibly rent to. Uh, in addition to that, California uh, has the, the state of California allows you to take up to two times the rent amount as a security deposit. So take lots of security deposit money. This way, if you do have pet damage, you, you're protected, or at least you have a sufficient amount of money to put the house back together if in fact the pets damage the property. And in your rental contract, have a very specific pet addendum that indicates that the tenants are responsible for any damage caused by their pets, including but not limited to uh, eradicating the smell of uh, pet waste, urine, and, and, and pet poop. I mean, let's face it, uh, pets can stink up a house and, and really uh, uh, make it difficult for someone uh, to move into the property based on the fact that it smells like a dog or smells like a cat box for that matter. So uh, take lots of security deposit money. California allows you to take up to two times the rent amount of security deposit. Have a very specific pet addendum. And again, uh, don't rent too aggressive breed dogs. Uh, aside from the fact uh, of the, the stench that they can cause in a, in a property, uh, you don't want to have a, a pit bull breeder move into your house and somebody gets bit and you've got a nasty lawsuit on your hands. So again, if you have any other questions or you want to hire a great property manager, give me a call. Thanks again. And we will talk to you real soon. Bye-bye now.